It's now time to learn about the second stage in the life cycle, which is our deploy stage. But before we can deploy our process, we need to learn about something called environments. Now, an environment is created and managed within the atom management tabs. Now, environments are the containers which contain the atom and the deployed processes together. Essentially, the way that you can think of this is that once we create an environment, we need to attach an atom to that environment, and then we attach that environment to one of our processes. Only then can our process be deployed. And it's good to keep in mind that a specific atom can only attach to a single environment at a time. However, a single environment can hold multiple atoms at a time. Although we are going to discuss environments on a high level, the true power of environments occurs through the use of extensions, which are discussed in the integration developer courses. For now, let's think of an environment as a dedicated deployment setup used to support the different phases of the integration development lifecycle. Within environments, we'll attach a specific atom to control the process runtime. As we can see, the atom cloud and the test atom cloud that we created earlier are not yet attached to any environments, so they're listed in the unattached atoms list. So once you actually set up your environment, we need to attach that atom to the environment. We can do this through the Manage and Atom Management tabs. An atom is attached to an environment via the environment pane. To attach an atom to an environment, simply highlight the environment and select the atom from the attachments list shown here. Once you complete that, the atom will then be attached to the environment. So let's review how to attach a process to that same environment. A process can attach to one or more environments via the Deploy tab. You can do this by highlighting the process within the process pane. Now, this isn't shown on the screen currently, but the activity guide takes you step-by-step step through each of the screens. So once you have chosen the process that you want to deploy, you can click the Attachments tab, shown here on the screen. You will see two columns, Attached Environments, which is on the left, and Unattached Environments, which is on the right. From the Unattached Environments column, select the environment that you want to deploy to, and click the arrow pointing to the left to initiate the attachment. Once completed, the selected environment will appear under the Attached Environments column. Finally, we'll see through our next activity that in order to finish the deployment, we will need to go back into the Deployments tab and click the Deploy Latest Revision of Process button.